Hey Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome. What is the universe currently trying to show you? What is the universe um, telling you, showing you, nudging you towards right now? What kind of signs, synchronicities are being shown to you and what do they mean? So this is the, uh, the question that we have for our readings today, beautiful souls. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I do hope you're doing brilliantly. We are living in very, very extraordinary times times at the moment where so much um, is transforming and there really are quantum leaps of possibility around. So beautiful souls, uh, let's look at the cards, the crystals and the charms that are here to um, help to tune you into whichever reading is right for you or readings if there are more than one. So pile one, reading one, we have the beautiful amethyst uh, point here. This is the crystal. absolutely magical. We have the charm of, um, it's a little apple. Let me show that up. I think you can see that little apple with a leaf attached to it. I think it's showing. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. The camera doesn't seem to want to focus very much on the charm. How interesting. But anyway, it is a little apple with a leaf. And then we have the card of the lion, leadership. So this is for pile one. Okay, let's pop that back. Now pile two, you have the beautiful blue calcite crystal. This is what it looks like. Very lovely energy. You have the charm of the four leaf clover. Really beautiful. And you have the card of chameleon, patience. So that is for pile two. And then for pile three, we have a piece of raw tiger eye. Really beautiful. This is what it looks like. And you have the charm of two hearts entwined. And the card of the bee, work. So that is pile three. Okay, beautiful souls. Now I'm gonna leave the video running for a few moments longer just to give you time to tune in to the charms, the crystals, the cards to see which of these is really speaking to you. And my beautiful souls take as long as you need. If you need extra time, just press the pause button. Um, but I will leave it running for a few minutes anyway. And um, beautiful souls, I will see you in the readings in just a moment. And um, thank you so, so much for being here. Trust your gut feeling, tune into whichever is speaking to you. And if it's more than one, just trust that that is right. Tons and tons of love, beautiful souls. Hi all one, welcome to your reading. The very first thing I'm gonna do is draw some runes for you. Let's see what we are shown. Okay, so we have, first of all, we have uh, Fehu. This is the rune of possessions, nourishment and ambitions actually satisfied. I mean, I feel like you have this apple and you have leadership, the lion energy. I, I do feel that there is opportunity here the universe is pushing you, telling you, showing you, nudging you towards a position of leadership where you take charge of something or step up into an ambition that you really, really, really want. Now, for some reason, with the rune of ice, Isa, there has been some hesitancy. Very interesting that amethyst is a master crystal. 
So it carries a lot of power. Why is there a standstill? Why is something a little bit frozen? Have you been frozen in your tracks? Are you feeling like you can't step up? Why is that? We have the rune of the spiritual warrior. This is about discernment. And then we have the rune of the self. Okay, I feel like you need to give yourself permission to own your true ambitions. I think there is something, you know, like, like dreaming big, pile one. I think there's something that maybe people around you would not really acknowledge, or maybe there are people around you who would almost sort of maybe possibly quite subtly discourage you from really stepping up and owning your ambitions. If you sort of said, this is what I really want to do, they might kind of, you know, sometimes for good reasons, because they care. Um, and it's not that they want to be unsupportive, but maybe they're fearful that it might not work out. So they sort of, instead of rather, instead of boosting you and saying, go for it, they sort of say, oh gosh, that's a bit of a big plan. Would you, you know, do you really think about that? And they're trying to avoid disappointment but actually it's bringing you down and you're really capable of this the universe is saying yes go for it there's something you really want there's something you you have a big dream um, the universe is saying step up and go for it lead the way part you can be a pioneer in something this is very personal to you. This is not about what somebody else thinks you should or shouldn't do or what you can or can't do. This is about you. We have hidden realms. Create conscious awareness. You see, I do feel you could be quite a leader in some kind of field. You may actually be very much somebody who is going to be, I would say, a leader in your own field, okay? a pioneer in your own field. I think you have the capacity to step out of the box and the universe knows it. You know it, the universe knows it, but there are people around you for whom the world feels better if they try and keep it nice and safe and restricted, but that's not you. You're being asked to really step up here. Step up, own your own ambitions. The universe is giving you signs, showing you, nudging you towards following this pathway because you can do this. This is, this is a time to dream big and really trust that this is going to happen. The universe is going to support you. May we get more information for pile one. We have Ceres, Nurture, and Sixth House, Sustainability. Fabulous. So yes, work is involved in this. There's going to be work involved in kind of bringing this forth, okay? But you can do this. Step up, lead the way with anyone who pioneers something that's kind of a bit new or an out of the box way of looking at it. It's like if you were developing a new piece of software or a new way of approaching something or, new, or a new way of healing something or a new way of, or even just a, an idea that you were gonna write a, a film or whatever it is, or a piece of music. There's something very transformative. It would be different. You're, you're having an out of, out of the box or a different way of approaching something. You may even be bringing things to light hidden realms, create conscious awareness, things that people have not really discovered or been aware of before, and you can bring it forth. It does need nurture, like anything that is brand new, anything that is cutting edge, to make it sustainable. There's not just the actual something and the idea, there's a whole periphery of stuff around it that has to kind of be built and put into place. It's like if you have a, an amazing idea, you've got to build a platform so that you can then launch it into the world. If you're going to teach somebody something or create a course that teaches people something, you've got to create a platform around it. There's a whole infrastructure. So it needs nurture to make it sustainable and to, to sort of bring it forth. It's like you're gonna to have to put your ducks in a row. It's like these chakra points lining up. But, but I feel there's a really strong message here because the universe is trying to tell you that this is right for you, trying to show you that this is right for you and trying to nudge you in this direction to step up and take the lead and go for it. And so because of this, I actually feel that the universe will help you to put your ducks in the row. Um, let's draw some tarot cards, see what we're shown. I'm going to use the Sufi tarot today. I oh, oh, wow. I love these cards. Right, two cards have flown right over to the left. In fact, two, 
what have we got we've got four that flew over plus these do you know what let's just take them all i feel like that's a real the way that happened is just a real indication of how this can be i think it will get off to a flying start we've got five of coins we've got eight of swords we've got ten of staffs and we've got ace of swords how interesting so what i see is this is a, a le this is like the lay of the land in terms of where you are now i feel i think there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of concern about the enormity of of how to do this how do you get it off the ground a lot of worry about whether it will work out there's fear of a fear of failure fear of disappointment a, a fear there's, there's also some financial fears it's almost like you'd love to dedicate your time to this fully but actually you don't really have the resources as yet to be able to do that. It's, there are other demands upon your time. And so it, I think you're in a bit of a place of, you know, how on earth do I do this? How do I make the time, have the resources, the money to make this possible? It's a big plan and you know it. It's, it's, it's like writing a book from scratch. You know it's an amazing idea. You know it's life-changing for the people who read it, but You've got to put your bum on the seat and find the time to do it. And you're working a full-time job and, you know, you've got family and commitments and da-da-da-da-da and all this stuff. This, this is what's coming through. But actually, if you're determined, you've got the rune of the spiritual warrior, there's a determination here. If you're determined, okay, then you can do it. You can do it. If you're prepared to do it, the universe is going to help you to get, to, to put things into place, to get your ducks in a row, as it were. Let's have a look at that other little pack of tarot cards. It's almost like two separate little packs flew out. Let's look at these. We have, okay, we have card number 13. This is actually the, the death card. Melt, 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 or molt. I'm not sure how I pronounce it. Thank you so, so much for those of you in the comments who put, who, who know and under, who, for whom this is your language. I love when you tell me how to pronounce things. It's great because it means people can see in the comments how it can be said. But this is the death card and what a beautiful death card it is. Look at you rising. Look at the energy of the universe supporting you in transformation. This is an affirmation, this card, that this is absolutely doable. It is absolutely possible. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness me, this is completely doable and possible. The right people will come at the right time. You'll get the right support. The universe will make sure that this is the case. I mean, the Ten of Cups could not be more joyous. We have the Shah of Coins. This is the King of Coins. So this is going to be a lucrative um, beneficial outcome, ambitions satisfied. You're going to be rewarded for this. We have Malika of Swords. This is the Queen of Swords. I feel you are really going to be literally a leader in your field. There's no question of it. And then the Shah of Swords, two kings and a queen. Wow. You have the King of Coins, so we've got that sort of sense of this being genuinely a long-term sustainable project for you in a personal way. Oh my goodness me, my cards are not all showing. Let me move these along. Here we are. Yes, we've got them all in view. This is about being determined, being clear and believing in yourself. And the universe is really, really going to back you. The universe is already trying to show you. You're probably finding that things are popping up in your stream and you think, oh, wow, gosh, if I don't get on with my idea, someone else is going to get there first. The universe is simply showing you that the ground is right for you. The climate is right for you to take this forward, to do it. Um, you are going to be a leader in your field. You have a very unique something to bring forth, an idea, a, a book or something. And it's going to benefit more than just you. And I think it's going to be very lucrative in the long run. It will be very sustainable. I think it will assist people. I, I see you as a leader in your field, whatever that is. 
wow, I think, you know, I really do think this is amazing. Some of you may find that there is a, a business partnership deal that comes into this with the Malika of Swords and the Shah of Swords, King and Queen of Swords. You may actually find along the way that a partnership deal comes in whereby you're not having to do it all. You might need to do some presentation work at this point, but the right people will come in and support you and the universe will make sure this happens. The universe is... I almost feel like the universe is shoving you, not nudging you, but giving you a, you know, almost like a bit of a shove to say, go on, get on with it. I'm going to provide you with just what you need. Just do it. Take those steps one step at a time and the universe will bring you exactly what you need to bring this forth. This is very transformational. I, I'm blown away by your reading. It's fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. Pile one, this is your reading. This is what the universe is showing you, telling you, pushing you towards. There's such a validation here. Let's draw just a couple more oracle cards just to sort of round it off. I, I don't feel there's any more to be said here. We have the hummingbird and the drum. Okay, walk to the beat of your own drum beautiful souls. Um, you know that doing this not only brings you joy, but it will bring a great deal of, of benefit, joy, harmony to the people who tune in with whatever this is. It's really, really helpful to others. It, it's going to bring joy, harmony, love, balance into people's lives. So this is really valuable. Walk to the beat of your own drum. What you have is very unique. The heart of the sky. Wow. You are literally being guided. Some of you may well be um, Pleiadian um, starseed people. You, you may already know that you have that connection. You may be channeling information and you know that that information is guiding you. Um, you may know that when you are doing your work, it's guided. It, it's being channeled beautiful soul um you have a real contribution to make um and the universe is literally trying to support you show you that now is the right time take it step by step and it will literally just unfold you'll be given what you need when you need it and it will emerge as it should um this is amazing pile one i'm loving your reading keep us posted um if you follow the moon magic tarot channel if you follow me and my readings if you follow my readings that I do, I post readings. If you're new to me, welcome. And if you're back, coming back and you're uh, revisiting the Moon Magic Tarot channel, welcome back. Um, if you're new, um, I post readings on usually on a Tuesday and a Friday and shorts in between to give really useful little pockets of guidance. And then every Sunday I post a reading which is a here and now. What does the universe need to tell you? What's the guidance for the week ahead? What's happening in the next seven days? Beautiful souls, those readings on Sunday may be helpful to you because every step of the way you're going to get the support and the guidance you need. Pile one, this is amazing. I'm sending you the biggest hug and I am thrilled to keep us posted. And yeah, if you are following the Sunday readings, let us know how your world, how your project, how your amazing contribution is unfolding. Tons of love, pile one. Pile two, welcome to your reading. You have the chameleon card of patience and the, the lucky four-leaf clover. How interesting. I do feel that you're needing to be adaptable in some way, shape or form or flexible in the way that something is unfolding. This is what the universe is trying to show you and tell you, uh, nudging you towards. Let's find out more. I'm going to draw some runes straight away. Okay, this is really interesting. You have the rune of strength, um, Uruz. This is suggesting that the universe firstly totally has your back and is literally assisting you in moving something forwards. But it does feel like we're talking about slow, steady progress with Isa, the rune of ice. Stand still. You may feel like you're working your socks off and it's not getting anywhere or something isn't happening quickly enough, or it's not emerging. But actually, you're in a process, okay? So it, this will emerge, it will happen. This is almost, it's like a rite of passage. There's a process to go through. You may even be processing something, 
but you're needing to be relatively flexible. You may be feeling like every time you get started on something, something else pops up and gets in the way and you just think, am I ever gonna get there? Luck is on your side. Don't be anxious. Um, this beautiful crystal, um, blue calcite, really reduces anxiety. It really helps to slow us down. I feel patience is required. You're on track, you have Sewello. This is the rune of wholeness. This is the path you must follow. And look, the breakthrough is coming, beautiful. This is the rune of Degas, the rune of breakthrough. The breakthrough moment will come, beautiful souls, truly. Um, I think that there is almost a process to get, before you get to that point of emergence. Let's get more information. This is what the universe is telling you so that you're being asked to persevere, have patience, keep going. You have two cards showing. Let's take them both from this first pack. You have lead the way, light your own path and Kundalini rising, ignite your passion for life. This is very, very interesting. This, there's a lot of electricity here. There's a lot of spark. I think you're needing to kind of go it alone at the moment a little bit on something that you're working on or something that you're trying to manifest, whatever that is for you. It's a general reading. So the messages are gonna come through in a way that's, you know, shows for, for everyone. You are being asked to be patient. Yes, um, something you're wanting hasn't manifested yet, but you are on track with it. You're more on track with it than you realize. Let's get more information. I need a bit more clarification about lighting your own path. What is this? What is this about? We have fourth house home. Okay. I want another card from this pack as well. Well, two more are coming out for you. We have Juno partnership and Mercury messages. Okay, this is interesting. Now, some of you may actually be trying to manifest a partner. That could be the big thing that you're trying to manifest. For others, it will be um, a project or something you're working on, but there is something that feels as though it's been slow to arrive. It kind of, it hasn't arrived yet. You're still kind of waiting and you're kind of wondering. I, I think what's happening is as well, because it's been slow to emerge or slow to manifest, for some it could be partnership, a partner. For others, it will be something else, but it's something that is really, um, it really, it, true to your heart, it's something that your heart really desires. I think some of you have internalized a kind of a message that sort of says, you know, if it hasn't emerged, I must be getting it wrong. And I think you're therefore almost thinking about, you know, how do you present yourself, trying to present yourself differently with the chameleon here. And actually this, this reading, the message that the universe is telling you primarily is just be you. Lead the way, light your own path. Be who you truly are, be your authentic self. It's as if you need to come home to yourself for this to then emerge. This is the path of wholeness. You know, if you were, if we use the example of a relationship, if you've met people and it hasn't really been right, well, people can't really know you if you don't present your authentic self, which means you can't attract somebody who really knows you and wants to be with you for who you are because you haven't shown yourself. So although you are needing to be flexible, adaptable in terms of being patient and kind of there's, there's a process of growth to be going through, slow and steady progress, I also think part of this is about you believing in yourself, being you over and above anything else, knowing that you are worth whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. You are worth this. Okay, now let's draw some tarot cards and see what we're shown. This is the Sufi tarot I'm using today. We have nine of staffs. I always feel like there's been a series of 
tests or challenges that you've had to go through. This is the nine of wands in a traditional pack, like a series of doorways that you've had to step through. And I think because you've been going through them, yeah, it's been hard work. Ten of staffs, ten of wands. It's it's been it's felt like an uphill struggle. And I think you've begun to wonder whether this is something that you can really, that whether you really can manifest this or have this for yourself. It would be like if you'd had a series of relationships and they were never right. But look at this four of staffs. Absolutely, you can. This is a card of celebration. It's a card of sometimes of an engagement, of a marriage. You absolutely can manifest the thing that you are wanting to manifest. Like now I've used relationship as an example because we have the card partnership here, Juno. But for some of you, this is more... Um, if it's if it's something else you're trying to manifest it would be the it, like the perfect if it's the perfect home or the perfect job it will feel like the perfect match for you is is really what the energy is about you'll know or it could be the perfect home you'll find the perfect location and you just haven't found it it is coming i think there's been a series of a series of experiences, interestingly enough, this is kind of taking me into the law of attraction. When we have an experience that isn't right for us, it's not because you're wrong or you're attracting the wrong thing. Sometimes it's coming in to help you to become more defined, to help you to see really clearly what you do want. It's like having a contrasting experience where you get something you don't want so that you know you want the opposite, or there's something you've needed to learn within that process of experiences. So you get to the point where you, you literally come home to yourself. Look at the house here and we have fourth house home. You reach a point where you are passionate about who you are and what you want and why you want to manifest it and you know it. And this is what's happening now. This series of sort of tests that you've been through, it's almost been like a period of, of like a rite of passage where you come home to yourself and that's the point when the breakthrough comes and whatever it is that you're manifesting is going to appear. Let's draw some more cards. The, the universe is showing you, nudging you towards this, really trying to let you know that you need to be your authentic self and believe in yourself. And the moment that's solidly there, you've had a series of tests. Each one actually will have taught you something about who you are and strengthened your own knowledge of who you really are. So you know who you are and what you want. You know, perhaps there are things now that you would not tolerate that you would have tolerated once. Okay, so what is the universe nudging you towards now? Daughter of Swords. This is interesting because this is a card of actual kind of taking action. Daughter of Swords. Let's. It's time to take action. It's time to move things forwards. We have the Eight of Swords and uh, the Alchemist. This is the Magician in a traditional pack. It is actually time for you to take action, to move something forwards here. It's interesting. Even though you you need to be patient and, you know, you're, you're going through a process, I think you're really being asked to continue on this pathway. Stop worrying about this. You can manifest this. You really can. There's a lot of encouragement here. In terms of your flexibility, it's not about flexibility in terms of who you are. It's flexibility in terms of your own discernment and your own decisions and choices about being really clear about what you want, who you are, and being prepared to not settle for less. That's coming through loud and clear. Do not settle for less. Yeah, look at that. We have the world. Be clear about what you want, beautiful souls. Be very, very clear about what you want because it is coming. There's so much encouragement here. You know, you will get to this point where the world is your oyster. What you want is going to manifest. This is all about step by step, being patient, um, which I think you have been. But it's like the universe is asking you to read what's been happening, not as a a sign that you can't have what you want, but as a sign that it's helping you to define not only what you want in detail, 
but to give you the clarity of mind to light your own way, lead the path, know what you want and know it will come to you to just be who you are. Don't accept less. This is coming through loud and clear. Do not accept less. This is your reading. This is the message. The universe is nudging you towards the wholeness and the amazingness of who you can be in your biggest, most beautiful way. And let's draw some cards, additional um, oracle cards, just to see what else we're shown. The moon. I'm hearing to the moon and back. You probably feel like you've been to the moon and back in trying to manifest whatever it is that you really want. But it is coming and it will be amazing. The medicine wheel. Yes, I think you've to the moon and back. I mean, the medicine wheel is associated also, of course, with the medicine wheel. Medicine wheels align with not only the sun, but also the moon cycles. You might find that this is giving you an indication of timing. You may find that you need to go through a kind of a, a season. At the time of doing this reading, we are in May. Uh, and so if we think about, you know, we're between Beltane and um, the next sort of turning point will be the solstices. You might find by the time you reach the solstice between Beltane and the solstice, this cycle will have completed this rite of passage and that process of, of you becoming the wholeness of you emerges. It could be within a moon month and um, it could be on the, the full moon or the new moon that you that you find something manifesting, you, you come home to yourself, you reach that point uh, of passion, of knowledge, of knowing. We have the sweat lodge. Again, these are all sacred cycles. You know, a sweat lodge like a medicine wheel, actually. It's, they are both, they're both, they both contain points of power, actually, beautiful souls. Yeah, this is about reaching your own point of power. The point of power is actually always in the now. It's what we do in the now that creates our manifestations. It's what we do in the now. It's what our thoughts, our thoughts as well as our actions and our deeds are creating the shape of our future. Check out your inner dialogue, pile two. Is it thoughtful? Is it supportive? Is it looking, are you looking after yourself or are you critical and judgmental of yourself? Check in on your inner dialogue. You can manifest this. The point of power is in the now. The universe is backing you 100% on this. The rune of um, Ura's strength always tells me that. The universe has your back. You are being guided, supported. Luck is on your side. I, I feel like you can shift this by creating a point of power, simply by owning what you are wanting to manifest, taking charge of it, believing in it, leading the way, knowing that you are entitled to this and holding that perspective through and through, um, through being your authentic self. And then I think the shift just happens. It comes home to you. Wow. Whatever it is you are manifesting, whether this is partnership and love, or a business partnership, or the right tribe, or simply um, something that you will love. It will be the perfect match, it could, the home, the location, the whatever it is. This is a general reading, but the perfect match will manifest the moment you are strong in yourself and recognize that the things that you have been experiencing are not trying to discourage you. They are here to assist you in defining with great clarity what you want and how much you are worthy of it. Pile two, this is your reading. Keep us posted, beautiful souls, in the comments. Thank you so much to all of you who comment. It is a, a wondrous thing to read your, your comments. I do read them all and, you know, I can't respond to them all. There are too many. Thank you. Um, but, you know, I do read them all. Thank you. And thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. All these things really help the channel. Um, beautiful souls, if you are new, welcome to the Moon Magic Tarot channel. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, if you are new, I post readings on Tuesdays and 
Fridays and uh, I post then short readings in between little shorts that are there for sort of daily guidance and assistance you can always find a short um, if you check on the home page that will be giving you a message you need to find right now to help to encourage you and keep you going and every Sunday I post a reading where we look at a message from spirit for you right here right now and we look at the week ahead which really really is there to assist you in navigating your world from that position of empowerment of truth of honor of knowledge of you being you and the universe absolutely supporting you so do check those out if that is going to be helpful to you pile two this is your reading sending you so much love and the biggest hug ever um beautiful souls something that you really want is coming to you so really be you be your most amazing self and let it unfold tons of love Pile three, welcome to your reading. You have the beautiful tiger eye, which is actually quite a talisman kind of energy, actually. Uh, it's It brings good luck to the wearer. Um, it's a really, really beautiful energy. Now let's, it's very transformational. You've got two hearts uh, joined together and the card of work B. I'm gonna dive straight into your runes. What is the universe telling you, showing you, nudging you towards? Um, gifting you with right now, helping you with. Let's find out. We have, okay, so we've got, first of all, um, we have AWAS. This is the rune of defense. Sometimes this refers to boundaries around something, but let's see what else we're shown. Uh, we've got the rune of gateway, Thurizaz. Okay, now these two together are suggesting that you need to um, look at something actually to won't necessarily say pause but look at something before moving forwards you have the rune of flow and you have the rune of wholeness yeah you just you need to be aware of something there's something that the universe is trying to bring to your attention um, that needs to be attended to before you can move forwards that's coming through very loud and clear um, let's find out what more about this let's draw more cards May we please have information, guidance, clarification for Pile 3. Lead the way, light your own path. This came out in Pile 2. So actually, if you were drawn to Pile 2, um, I would strongly recommend checking out that reading. Spirit messages, observe limitations. Okay. We then have, let's get some more cards out for you. I'm seeing these two. We have third house communication and authority. Mm, okay, right. I'm feeling like you need to take charge of something here. Make sure that something happens um, in your time rather than someone else's time. That's coming through here. Okay. Interesting. There's a really interesting energy around you. I'm going to draw another card from this pack and then I'm going to get your tarot cards out. Venus Beloved. Ah, right. And we have two hearts together. Beautiful souls. I think this may be um, connected to some form of like a relationship reading. Um, if, if that doesn't resonate with you, then it may be that this isn't the right reading for you. Now, I don't know whether this is a business partnership or a love relationship, but with two hearts and beloved Venus, it would suggest that it is a, a close relationship of some sort, an intimate partnership, someone you're intimately or intimately connected with. Light your part, own path, observe limitations communication authority i feel like you need with like your own path and authority to take something at your own pace or decide on the the pathway or the outcome for yourself not necessarily follow what someone is telling you to follow here okay or you're needing to be aware of Yes, observe limitations, communication. Maybe greater communication is needed here. Definitely the path, this is such a unique pathway, Suelo. 
It's your pathway to wholeness. I feel there's a real sense of you needing to be your own authority, have your own agency in something here. It doesn't mean that you can't work at something with someone, but if you are working through something with someone in a relationship, you really do need to hold your own and hold your perspective and your point of view, whilst perhaps also recognising the limitations. There may be somebody around you who can't really communicate as effectively as you. Maybe you do need to step up and be the authority in a situation if a decision needs to be made and somebody is, is not terribly... I don't know, um, maybe you, you have a greater knowledge or a greater wisdom about this situation and, and so you're the one that needs to take the lead. Either way, you need to take the lead for you over this. So the universe is really telling you, showing you, nudging you towards, really as I said, towards a position of your own agency in some form of relationship. And for many, it is an intimate relationship. It's like taking your time, observe, notice, and have a really good look at what this is like, what this relationship is offering you. Is it right for you? Is it not right for you? What is right? What isn't? Um, you know, what can be worked with? What can't be worked with? I mean, this is a talisman of good luck. So actually, I'm not seeing a negative outcome necessarily, possibly that you need to be very aware of, you know, the details in some way. Let's, let's draw your tarot cards and see what else we're shown. May we have guidance, please, for my lovely pile three. There is quite a sense of urgency. There's a very interesting energy around you, like someone's pushing for something. Um, they may be a little bit nervous about something and they want it to move forwards or they're wanting an affirmation. Um, the question is, what do you want? What is right for you? seeing this i'm seeing quite a lot of cards coming through for you actually so we'll unfold them as as they unfold i'm feeling for the card on the base as well that we'll look at that first six of coins okay right what i'm seeing is that you are a very generous person with the six of coins and it's really important that you are aware of perhaps of making sure that whatever you do, it, it's in balance. Now, this is the high priestess. So absolutely, balance is needed. I think there's a great deal of generosity on your part uh, and a lot of giving. We have the three of swords as well. Let's place this here. Then we have the five of swords. Okay, water under the bridge, I'm hearing with this card. Okay, I think for some of you as well, maybe someone's coming back into your life, coming back into your world, five of swords, maybe, or there could be a reconciliation. Somebody's wanting to work at something with you. That's lovely, okay, but you do need to make sure that you go in with your eyes wide open because I think you are very generous of heart. You're very kind, you're very generous, you're very thoughtful, you, you're very intuitive. And this can mean that you can be taken advantage of. I, I think possibly there's a situation around you in a relationship. For many, it's a relationship of closeness. Um, it could be an intimate partner. For others, if it's not an intimate partner, it will be a friend or someone who wants to be close or is close, or it could even be a family member. But this isn't primarily a relationship reading. The universe is telling you, showing you, nudging you towards really entering this with your eyes wide open. You may have been hurt before. I feel somebody could want a reconciliation. They want to come back into your world. You're amazing. Why wouldn't they? You're generous, you're giving, you're loving, you're intuitive, you, are, you shine. So we have... These, these are really interesting cards. We then have the Malika of Coins. This is the Queen of... Of, uh, of pentacles in a traditional pack. We have the 10 of coins, 
the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Malika of Swords, two queens sitting around the Ten of Coins. I don't think that this is a bad outcome, okay? We've got Flow and Suelo, the Rune of Wholeness. What matters here, like your own path, is that your interests are recognized in this connection. It, what matters is that you make sure that you establish what is right for you, like your own path. You recognize the limitations, perhaps, of someone else, but you are really, really upfront and clear about what you will tolerate and what you won't. What are your limitations? What will you accept and what, you, what will you not accept? If you are having somebody coming back into your life, if this is a reconciliation, spirit is saying, look, you know, we're nudging, spirit is nudging you towards a space of wholeness in your own right, having your own agency within this connection, whatever the connection is. Make sure that you are really clear about what you will accept and what you won't accept. Um, you know, it's like this needs to be in a way on your terms, actually. If you're gonna have someone back in your life, everything here is suggesting that it can really work out, but it needs to work out with clear boundaries. Okay, yeah, but absolutely coming back in, clear boundaries coming through again. Let's just draw some more cards and take a sneaky peek into the future. Where might this go if pile three have clear boundaries around it? Son of Swords, it can move forwards pretty quickly, I think. Wow, look at this. Son of Swords, it can move forwards very quickly. Son of Cups, it can be absolutely joyous. The Rainbow Bridge of Healing can take place. And the Six of Staffs, I mean the Six of Wands, it's the card of victory. This can actually really work. This connection can work. It's dependent upon sort of almost just establishing exactly how it needs to be from day one, because those are the parameters. And interestingly enough, I think the other party concerned benefits enormously from you being very boundaried and very clear. It's part of why they're really strongly attracted to you or they like being around you. You feel so safe because they know where they stand. You're generous, you're giving, but they need to know where they stand as well. This has great potential, this relationship. It can definitely move forwards, and, but it's all about you holding your own, being your own person, being your own agency. Um, pile two may actually be a, a good reading for you as well. So beautiful souls, let me draw some additional um, oracle cards for you. You have the ghost dance and you have the corn. The ghost dance is like a shamanic uh, dance that brings in, um, it connects you to your ancestors, actually. The ghost dance, it connects you to your ancestors, it connects you to those wise ones. This is actually saying don't follow, um, I don't know, let's, let's say you are in a family where you were brought up to see yourself as, I don't know, second class or if you bought let's say i'm going to use a gender related issue here let's say you are a if you were a woman and you've been brought up in a family where men were automatically given precedence and this has been like a family trait where um, males were dominant over females then you know don't follow family patterns it's time to step up and hold your own and really take charge and know you have the right to. I mean, this is absolutely, we've got two queens here. This, so this may well be if, if you are, if you're, if the way, if you identify as, as a, as a, in the feminine, this is time for you to, to hold your own in that way. Um, the corn is a card of harvest. So again, real recognition that this can happen. You don't have to follow family patterns. And look at this, the rainbow. I spoke about the rainbow bridge of healing coming through here um, in this card, Son of Cups. This is absolutely, this is, uh, this is a time when actually this connection can not only heal, but become so much more, bigger, better than it could otherwise have been. You're being nudged towards a very healthy relationship. You're being guided. The universe is telling you, showing you how to establish, wanting you to establish a really healthy, balanced, healed relationship that will be seen by others as being amazing. This is absolutely possible. 
it's dependent upon you holding your own, having your voice um, and establishing exactly that level of equality, however you orientate, however you identify. Um, this is your reading, beautiful souls. This is your reading pile three. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it's a real honor to read for you. Welcome back if you are already following the Moon Magic Tarot channel and welcome to anyone new. Beautiful souls, if you are new, I post readings every Tuesday and every Friday, pick a card readings. In between that, I post little shorts to give daily guidance. You can always find a short if you need some assistance and some pendulum, yes and no readings too. And on a Sunday, I post a really, it's like a weekly reading where we ask Spirit for an immediate message right here and right now. And we look at the week ahead, the next seven days, guidance for the week ahead. You know, again, they're timeless readings, of course, so you can always tune into the homepage and always find an immediate message with guidance for the next seven days whenever you need that. You know, those readings are there as a resource. There are lots of them there. So do check them in, um, check them out if that's relevant to you. And Pile 3, thank you for being here and thank you so, so much. Keep us posted as to how this pans out for you. It's wonderful to read your comments. And just thank you for being here and being a part of the Moon Magic Tarot journey. Tons of love, beautiful souls.